Yo, and we back with another video. Hope y'all like the series so far because I like making them. And I appreciate everybody that's tuning in to watch these videos. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Today's episode is called Get Out of My Head. And it's one of the weird ones, so let's get right into it. So the episode starts off with this type of old school horror. And it's like this redhead girl looking for somebody, right? Okay, tell me why this dude's head looked like a penis. Why he out here looking like a dick? And why he got to be a brother too? That's so crazy. That's besides the point. So brother Nigel is like, hey girl, what's up? For some reason, takes a three second pause to be like, look out, there's the mommy's curse. And it's like the worst acting ever. They had to be playing like worst actor roles because this puppet string monster comes on screen, right? And she takes a good five second look at it before even reacting to the puppet. I guess they merge or something because she becomes a monster. And Nigel watches the whole thing before 10 seconds later saying, oh no. Now I guess she's a mummy zombie ghost thing now because she got possessed by that thing. And Nigel says, dude, you just got possessed. She starts walking over, I'm gonna eat your brains. And he just lets it happen. I don't know, because any respectful black man that I know would have just started booking it. Like, or at least just straight jumped it by itself. Like, black people are like spectacular, like specimen. Like, we could just jump something by ourselves. But then we get into the actual episode. Grim, Billy, and Pudding, the cat, is actually watching the movie that we were just talking about. Grim is bored out of his mind. But for some reason, this is scaring the mess out of Billy. So, they turn it off. Grim gloats on how he seems way more scarier stuff in his time because he's the Grim Reaper. And Billy asks, so, can you fly into people's mind and like control them too? And Grim's like, of course, sure! Hops into put his mind and starts doing a little jig. Look at me, I'm a kitty cat. And Billy being Billy, he definitely wants to try that out for himself. So after the bonehead decision of Grim telling him how to do it, doesn't really tell him how to do it, he just says jump in somebody's head. Billy goes and tries it out for himself, and the first person to take his damage is his dad. And obviously because of the poor lack of instruction, he ends up just teabagging his dad. So his dad's like, son, it's a little too hot in here to be reading a newspaper through your butt. Billy hops off his dad and like, I'm sorry dad, and just walks off nonchalantly. Unsatisfied, he has to try again, so round two. Billy winds up from the back room, jumping at the back of his dad's head. Still didn't work. Now looking totally disgruntled, Billy walks to the living room and Grim says, you just gotta jump in head first, giving Billy the last tip that he really needs to get the trick working. But since his dad said he had to go outside and play, Billy had to find somebody else to try the trick on. And we finally get introduced to Mandy for the first time in this episode. She's outside in the back playing with a voodoo doll like any respectable demon child would do. So Billy just walks over and just does it. He don't say a word, just hops up at OG Mandy's dome like, and this is where we get to see the first time Mandy smiles. Now I won't count this as a real smile because like Billy's in her mind and making her do it, but like this is the first time we see Mandy smile. And with a character with no nose, it looks so creepy. That huge smile, the goofy attitude that she has, nobody's gonna think it's Mandy. And the first person that Billy goes up to is Grim. Kind of ironic. Grim's now the test dummy, even though he showed Billy the trick. I'm not gonna lie. First three seconds in, Mandy Billy was actually fooling Grim. Billy ended up acting just like himself, so Grim was like, you know what? You learned the trick. Now go bother somebody else. And oddly enough, Billy goes ahead and go do that. We get introduced to the pimp named Erwin. Yo, this is one of my favorite characters of all time in Billy and Mandy, man. He is such a simp for Mandy, but like, I don't know, he's just a funny character. Knowing that Erwin has a big crush on Mandy, he goes over and flirts with Erwin. Let's be honest, he was holding a dog and he let that leash go. He ain't never seen that dog again in his life. So Billy's over there telling Erwin and Mandy's body that he likes him. And Erwin is getting so flustered and like real blushed up just for Billy to stick a finger in his ear and run off. Now after a long day, you just wanna unwind, put on some candles, chill with your baby, 
Don't that sound good? You got a kid that you know is gonna be chill because she's a demonic demon child, so you never gotta really check on her and stuff because she's already plotting to rule the world. What if she wasn't like that today? Billy and Mandy's body comes flopping in there saying, hey, Mandy's mom and dad, instead of saying, oh, you're my mom and dad. So he quickly picks it up, jumps on the couch right next to the mom and dad and ends up kissing the mom straight up on the lips. The dad didn't even get to enjoy that yet. Personally, I wouldn't take that disrespect. He got Mandy talking about, I love you guys. Got a Linda Blair smile that would just creep you out in your nightmares. Well, it's time for another scene. The next task as Billy and Mandy's body is to use the bathroom, a public bathroom. And Billy being as he was a boy like his whole life, he goes to the men's bathroom. Quickly seeing that that's not the greatest idea because he is in Mandy's body. Bolts out of there after a few people start screaming. Then tries to use the female's bathroom. That doesn't go too well either. So the bathroom's out of the question. Now it's just a straight rampage of Billy doing a whole bunch of things that Mandy would never do. Her parents checking her out too, like, Mandy's not okay today. Billy's out here playing in the mud, smelling flowers, doing everything Mandy wouldn't do, all while smiling. When I seen Billy make her eat the bug, I knew she was gonna get her revenge. When I tell you Billy got her looking Looney Tune, bro, <laughs> type of looney tune brody what's that old saying one little monkey jumping on the bed he fell off and bumped his head but one little slip up billy falls off the bed while jumping on the bed and mandy gets control of her body back i don't know if you ever seen this meme when mandy's pointing and got that hate symbol on top of her head well it just says hate but this is where that super meme came from and I love this so much because like, I seen it when it was fresh. She just tells him to get out. So Billy bolts it out the room and just goes home. You didn't think Mandy was done, did you? <laughs> no, 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 she needs her revenge. So while Billy's at home, ready to go to sleep, with his cat in bed, starts talking to Puddin. Like, wow, I think Mandy's really mad at me. Little did he know that the cat was possessed and was actually Mandy. I don't really think I had to explain what happened next, but hey, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and should I keep on doing these videos? Do y'all like these videos? Comment down below. And hey, till next time.